everybody, Troy from the Do It Yourself World. I had this barricaded like Fort Knox. Now that it's never going to be done again, I've got pickets. I'm going to finish this properly. I'll let you see what all I had to, to tie this in. Nobody and no thing was coming through there, I'll tell you that. So I've got these two plastic pallets. Those go separate. of scrap wood laying here, sort of tying and locking things in. I mean, no, nothing was coming through here. A lot of stuff. It took me a while to, uh, to get it all set up. It's going to take me a while to break it down. But I'm going to get these gates done today. Actually, I hope to have them done before breakfast, so I'm very optimistic on the use of my time. I just tied all those in together. Really hope to finish this up. And then I've got to move the carport. And I can start parking my truck in here from now on. That one's heavy. Pallets are great around the homestead. Now that wasn't all. This was my privacy. Stop peeping eyes. power driver. No crazy eight person comes through the gate. It's open again. Wouldn't that be weird? The toughest part is getting this started. And it wants to keep closing. I'm gonna have to prop it open. I'm going to start out with one screw per board to get this going and then put the nails in after. That way I can make corrections if I make any mistakes. I learned that the hard way on the other fence. Our first sections that we did. Putting the cleanest side out. I gotta go get the level before I go too far here. This is gonna go quick. It's gonna go real fast. Let me get that level in. Make sure I put it all straight and good. Well, I got one done. I had to put a cross brace and a prop up. 
till I got the nails on because uh, I was using one screw per and then the whole thing started to sag real bad. I don't like that cross brace. I'm going to make a proper one later and replace it. But uh, the prop worked. I don't know if you can see on the bottom here. That worked. So I'll do that on the other gate too. And uh, that'll line it up better that way for me. And then, yeah, it's going to work out. up sharply here so I'm gonna have some work to do straightening out the land so I can open this gate all the way now here in this case I'm leveling and then putting a couple boards and then nailing right away so that it'll hold up and not sag I got the interior cross brace on and the boards themselves will prevent sag quite a bit. Same as when you're building a house. They'll help hold a lot of their own weight when they get all these nails in. Now I'm down to just nailing. This one's sitting on the ground so it can't sag. That helps, I guess, for now. Well, guys, now I got some gates. There's some sag on this. I've got to come up and tie in on top, so I'm going to have to work on the sawmill later uh, in the next day or so, coming days. I've got to put a, I've got to cut a custom piece up there because now this one is sagging. But now I'm going to do the cross bracing, the, the uh, barricading, and uh, latching behind the scenes. There's a little bit of twist in this. It's unfortunate with treated lumber that uh, you get some twists and warping over time so these don't mesh up precisely but I do have a plan but because it's our security I'm not showing you so that's it for that part but but please do stay tuned keep watching I got some giveaways following this clip so uh, really cool and fun stuff check it out alright guys got something fun for you today I've got a giveaway. Here's a through night. This is the TN12 Pro headlamp that I reviewed a while back. And I've got one of these to give away. The, uh, if you're interested in entering a drawing, just let me know in the comments. And a computer generated random number will choose the winner. And I've also got today four of these little vials of specular hematite. Remember the road of glitter. And uh, it's hard to get that with the glare on there. Here we go. That is some beautiful stuff. I'm giving away four vials of specular hematite. The glitter. You can put them on display and just keep them around. You can put them up for sale. You can use them for crafts. It is just really pretty stuff. I'm going to give four of these away today. All right, again, random uh, computer generated number. Let me know in the comments which one you want to enter or both. And in a few days, I'll choose a winner after the I've had enough views on this video and uh, send them on out to y'all. So, if you remember the Road of Glitter, specular hematite, it is beautiful. Let me take you outside and show you in a bucket that I've got out there. Well, my bucket got rained on before I covered it, but you get the idea. It's uh, the stuff that I collected from the mine. Really beautiful. You can make jewelry with it, use it for crafts, or whatever you can dream of, whatever you imagine. Or just, you know, keep it. But uh, there you go, guys. I am going to be making jewelry and crafts out of this myself later on and possibly selling some 
containers of it. If anybody's interested, let me know about that as well. There is my finished gate from the outside. I trunked in, I ripped a, one of these pickets on my saw and put a half in here and a half in there to fill in any gaps. And now people can't really see in. And the next thing I'm gonna have to do is get a, a beam across here, which I said I'm gonna have to make in my sawmill. So you have to watch for that. It's gonna be raining pretty hard today, so I think that's gonna be it for outdoor work. So uh, check out that giveaway. Let me know what, which one you're interested in or both. It's up to you guys. Please like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Check out Michigan Prospectors, by the way, where we do our rock hounding, gold prospecting, and cool projects and stuff. And uh, join our Facebook group as well, Michigan Prospectors. And share your experience. Don't have to be in Michigan to join. And talk to you later.